Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to load an audio file into an array and how to play it. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is to of course create an array. So we can go to the put menu and click on array or learn the shortcut. And of course the array properties window appears and in this case, we're just going to change the name. So let's say we want to upload a mono audio file. We can call it drums. And we're not going to change the size of the array because we're going to use an object called sound filer that will automatically scale the size of the array to match the number of samples that the audio file we are loading is composed of. So we can click OK, and here we have our array. OK, so the object that we are going to use, it's called sound filer. So let's create a new object, sound filer. And now this object basically load an audio file into the array. So to use this object, the first thing that we want to do is to create a message box, because we have to use a command. And the command that we're going to use is read. Now, I said that the sound filer object will automatically scale the size of the array to match the content of the audio file. But in order to do so, we have to tell it that it has to do so. So we're going to use a flag, which is basically a behavior that we can add to a command. So we use the minus signal, and the flag is resize. Resize, yeah. Okay, now we can put in the name of the file, and I'm going to use a file taken from a sample library that I created for Visionary Robots Industries, which is a drum loops library. So I can paste the name in it, and don't forget the extension .wave, and then lastly, we have to tell to the sound filer object in which array we are going to upload the file because we can have multiple arrays in our patches. So the name of the array is drums. Again, pay attention to upper and lower cases letters because PD is case sensitive. And now our command is complete. So read is the command that tells to sound file or object to upload a sound file into an array. The resize specification tells it that he has to change the size of the array to match the dimension of the audio file in samples. And then lastly, we need the name of the array where the file has to be uploaded. So we, now we can connect these two and the left outlet of the sound filer object tells us of how many samples the sound file is composed of. So basically we can add a number atom. Remember one thing, in order for this mechanism to work without any specification, but just writing the name of the file, you have to save the patch and to have the file in the same folder. Otherwise, you have to specify the path in your hard drive. And you can do this by clicking here and writing two dots and a backslash, and then eventually the folder name where your audio file is located. Okay, so since I have the patch and the audio file into the same folder, I don't need to specify the path, so I can just go ahead and write only the name of the file. So save the patch and I can go ahead and upload the file and there it is. Okay, so now that we have uploaded the file into an array, we have to read it basically. So how do we play this array? We use an object called tab play. So we can create a new object and write in it tab play. Don't forget the tilde because this is an audio object because we have to basically read the content of the array 
at sample rate. So that's how we are going to use the array. So that's how we're going to have the array behave like a sample player. So we read the content of the array, which is 790,988 samples. So this is the number of elements that, is, that the array is composed of. And we have to read it at sample rate. So the tuple object needs a creation argument because we have to tell it from which array it has to read. So again, drums. And this is a very simple object to use. It just needs a bang connected to its inlet. And the left outlet is for the audio signal coming out of it. So we can connect this to our duck object. And just ignore that I'm going to record a sound file for this example. And the right outlet of the tablet object emits a bang when the reading of the entire array finishes. So let's try it out. and it bangs when it finishes to read the array. So that's it. This is the basic mechanism to upload the sound file into an array and to read it one shot. So again, don't forget to specify the path where your sound file is located, or if you want to make your life easier and simpler, just save the patch and the audio file in the same folder, then you don't have to specify any path and you will just need the sound file name. Don't forget the extension, and again, pay attention to upper and lowercase letters in the names. Okay, so that's it. In the next video, we're going to learn how to make a sample slicer, and, you know, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you find this content interesting and useful, please consider liking it and sharing it with your friends and colleagues, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!